Hey guys, how are you? I hope that you are okay. I hope that you have been um, having a lot of fun in these free days that you have had. I hope that you have enjoyed all this free time that you have had and that you have had the opportunity um, to rest, have a lot of fun, um, and just enjoy your family. I hope that everybody is safe at home during this uh, problematic hurricane. But mostly I hope that people in Honduras it's safe and, um, and they can feel uh, the blessing of God through them uh, and trust that uh, God is never going to abandon anybody and they're going to be okay. So today we are going to uh, continue reading. Today we are going to read uh, page 22 and 23. Um, so um, we are going to go to your book, page 22, and the questions on 23. Remember that uh, you can uh, print this uh, page of questions if you want, or if you don't want to print it, you can copy everything in your notebook. Remember that all the questions have to be answered in complete sentences in order for you to have all your points. And if you don't complete uh, the sentences with uh, the questions with full sentences, you're not going to have all the points. So I hope that you take on uh, that into account and let's start. A big decision on page 22. What would it be like? What would it be like to foster a puppy? To have a puppy, foster is to adopt. On the first day of classes, the Ramirez family arrived early at the Seeing Eye Dog Center. Remember that the Ramirez family wanted to adopt, uh, to foster, to be the home, the temporary home for dogs that help people that cannot see. They were going to learn about being a foster family for a puppy. Okay, group said Mr. Crockett. I think we're ready to begin. He was a tall man with a graying beard. How many of you are here tonight because you might like to foster one of our puppies? About half of the people in the group raised their hands. Mr. Crockett nodded. Mm. First of all, you should know how happy we are to have you here. Fostering a puppy is very important. Work I think you'll find it very satisfying, but it is also quite demanding. It is difficult to foster a puppy because you have a dog in your house that doesn't belong to it completely because it's going to live with someone else. What do you think some of your responsibilities will be? Mr. Crockett asked. Stephen raised his hand. Well, I think it will be your job to make sure the puppy gets used to being around people. We'll have to take her a lot to different places, like shopping malls and ball games. That's right, said Mr. Crockett. You should try to expose your puppy to things like crowds, the sounds of traffic, riding in cars or on buses and other animals. That way she won't grow up to be a dog who gets frightened or startled easily. So. An icing dog is a dog that has to guide people to places because they cannot see. So it's very important for these kind of dogs to get used to the traffic, the honking of cars, people speaking, other animals riding buses, because if they don't get accustomed to that, they could give problems to the person that they're guiding. A teenage girl with curly light brown hair sat across the room from Steven. She rested one hand lightly on the back of a golden retriever who sat behind her chair. This is Mitzi, she said, patting the dog on her side. We've had her for about nine months. When you get your puppies, you have to be ready to spend a lot of time with them. They might feel lonely at first. Most of them have never been away from other pups in the, la in the litter until they come to live with you. The first couple of nights we had Mitzi, I actually slept in a sleeping bag on the floor so I could be near her. It made her feel safe and comfortable. So can you imagine if you're trying to make your dog being comfortable that you sleep with them just so they're not afraid? The girl chuckled. I don't recommend more than a couple of nights on the floor though. She grinned and rubbed her back in the memory. What questions do you have so far? asked Mr. Crockett as he looked around the circle. How can you give up the puppies after a whole year? asked Stephen. Don't they feel like part of your family by then? P 
because it's difficult to raise a dog that you know that you're gonna have to let go because they are raised to help other people. This is what I had worried him most about the idea of fostering. Mr. Crockett nodded. I can tell you that it isn't hard, he said. My family and I have fostered seven dogs for over the years, and we love every one of them. You just need to remember how important these dogs will be to their new companions. They really help open up the world to people who are blind. If you can remember what a, what a gift seeing eye dogs are, it becomes a little easier to say goodbye. So you should remember that these dogs help people that cannot see to discover the world because they cannot see. So it's the dog that guides them through the world. So yes, it's difficult to just raise a dog that you know that is not gonna be yours, but also that dog is gonna help other people. As the meeting ended, Mr. and Mrs. Ramirez turned to Esteban. What do you think? asked Mr. Ramirez. Is this something we can handle? It will be a big responsibility. Esteban looked at his dad. I know we can do it. I can wait to meet our puppy. So he was ready, as you can see in the picture. Um, uh, Mr. Crockett was guiding everybody and obviously Esteban wanted to help. Yes, it's gonna be really difficult to say goodbye to your dogs, but it's gonna be something that you're gonna do in order to help other people. Would you foster a puppy just for a year so you can help someone else? Page 23. Number one. Puppies might feel lonely at first because in the line you have to write why puppies may feel lonely. Well, I mean, a puppy is a small dog. So when you are a baby, sometimes you can miss your mom, okay? So that could be a good reason. So for number one, we can write, puppies might feel lonely at first because they miss, double S, their mom or their mother. Complete sentences. Puppies might feel lonely at first because they miss their mom. Remember, if you don't get the answer, just rewind the, the video and check on the, the subtitles. Number two, why does a foster family need to expose a puppy to lots of different things? Well, in this case, you should remember that this dog has to ride the bus, the motorcycles, the taxis, go to the park, um, go to the supermarket. So sometimes animals, pets, dogs and cats, they can get scared, they can get frightened by sounds. But these kind of dogs need to be exposed to everything. So you can write in your answer for number two. Puppies needs to expose to different things. Puppies needs to expose to different things because they have to go to different places. Because they have to go to different places. Number three, why does Esteban feel worried about giving up a puppy after a year? You should remember that um, it's something that you're gonna love. You're gonna love this doggy, so you don't wanna give it away. So you can write in number three. Stevan is worried. Stevan is worried because he will love the puppy. Because he will love the puppy. Number four. Do you think Mr. Crockett will foster more eye-seeing puppies in the future? Why or why not? Now, Mr. Crockett is the teacher of the people that is trying to teach people how to adopt or foster puppies. So do you think that he's gonna give the house, his house for more puppies or you think he won't? So let's say that you say yes. So you can write in there, yes, Mr. Crockett will foster more eye-seeing puppies, comma, because he loves puppies. Or, no, 
Mr. Crockett will not foster any more ICM puppies because it's hurtful. It's very hard to say goodbye. Okay? If you don't get the answer, just rewind the video and listen to it again. Number five, check the words that describe Stevan. So you have to write a check if the word describes Stevan. Respo responsible? You can choose yes or no. So you can check. Kind? Is he kind? Is he nice? Competitive? Well, Stevan is kind. Stevan is a good person. Is he competitive? Is he a dog that likes to... Uh, uh, sorry. <laughs> my, my cat... I have a new cat. Uh, my, my sister sent me a new cat. So she's crying. So I'm sorry. Um, competitive? I don't think that Stevan is really competitive, but I don't know about you. Funny? I think that Stevan can be funny, so you can check that. Thoughtful? He, he has a lot of thoughts and uh, ideas based on his feelings. Check if it's correct. Number six, write F before the sentences that are facts that are 100% true or O before the sentences that are opinions that can be true or can be not true, okay? Fact is something that is 100% true and, um, and uh, opinion is something that it might be true for some people, but not for everybody, for real. Okay. First, about half of the people at the meeting are thinking about fostering a puppy. Mm, let's go to the story. The, Mr. Crockett asked them, and he asked them in paragraph... Okay, in paragraph number two. Okay, group, said Mr. Crockett. I think we're ready to begin. He was a tall man with gray beard. How many of you of you are tonight of you are here tonight because you might like to foster one of our puppies to to be the house, the temporary house? And the quest the question says about half of the people at the meeting are thinking about fostering a puppy. Well, there's a lot of people, but you think it's only half of the people or almost everybody? If you think that it's almost everybody, then that's an opinion. But if you're certain that it was half of the people, you can write F for fact. Next, fostering puppies is always an enjoyable way to spend time. I don't really know that if you can enjoy it because you hurt when it goes. So that would be an opinion. That would be an O. Next, Stevan and his parents will be a good foster family. Do you really think that they will be a good foster family? Uh, I don't really know if they will be a good foster family. Um, I mean, but they're very loving, so it can be an O for an opinion or an F for a fact. Next, the girl sitting across from Stevan has curly hair. Is that an opinion? Could be, could not, or that's 100% true? I think that is 100% true, so it would be a fact. Next, what is the setting of this story? The setting is the place where the story happens. So they are in a meeting. They are in a reunion for fostering people dogs oh, for fostering dog people so you can write in there the setting is a meeting go double e m e e t i n g a meeting for fostering dog people the setting is a meeting for fostering dog people number eight what does Mr. Crockett say is helpful when you say goodbye to a foster dog? Remember that these dogs are going to help people. So the only way for you to be able to say goodbye properly is to remember the people that this dog is going to help. So you can write in there. It's helpful to say goodbye because of all the people that this dog can help. 
because all the people that this dog can help remember complete sentences. And number nine, would you be interested in fostering a guide dog? Why or why not? If you ask me, would I be interested in fostering a puppy? No, because I have a lot of cats. So I can write in there, I'm not interested in fostering a guide dog, comma, because I have a cat, I have cats. I have multiple cats and they would be fighting all the time. But you can write your own um, answer to it. Remember that these questions um, should be answered in complete sentences and if you don't answer them in complete sentences, you're not gonna have all the points. So keep that in mind, okay? So that will be for today. Remember that you can print page number three or write everything in your notebook. Um, if you want to, there's no problem on that. There's no obligation for you to uh, print anything. And um, I hope that I can see you tomorrow. I hope that you have fun. This is a very interesting story and we'll continue later. Remember guys, you can either print the page or write everything in your notebook. See you guys.